Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, 20th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signal to market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so uh, in terms of Asian markets overnight, Chinese markets certainly uh, lackluster again. Shanghai certainly finishing down. Uh, the Nikkei more or less flat as well. Uh, the US equities are at a very critical juncture with the S&P 500 at the uh, key double top zone okay again you've got ongoing concerns with regards to trade war okay emerging market concerns certainly as well yet u.s markets continue to power ahead very very um interesting juncture let's put it that way okay so, so can the s p 500 break through that's the question okay i certainly don't expect that given the headwinds and tailwinds the pivot top is seen at 2916 i can't see that hitting or breaking currently trading around the 2912 zone uh, pre-market at present okay European markets certainly are uh, catching a bit as well on the back of obviously US equity stents to a large extent. But given the fact that the euro USD is currently trading above 1.17, that will certainly keep that at bay. And also given the fact that we've got ongoing Italian concerns that, that continue to uh, certainly uh, lurk back. Okay, now in terms of the uh, uh, fundamentals, uh, we've already got the retail sales from the UK this morning certainly coming in stronger than expected, surprising a lot of people. And now we're looking at. Um, U.S. Uh, jobless claims, initial jobless claims, and uh, existing home sales for the U.S. So nothing major really in terms of fundamentals. Let's look at the technical picture now in terms of the German DAX here. That daily chart certainly seems to ground or grounded higher above that gap fill zone. So very impressive from that thrust below. Uh, we've got in the 50 percent between say 50 to 61 percent zone. So again, watch out there. Uh, in terms of the 60-minute chart on the German DAX, again we broke out past that key resistance as well. One would have expected. This uh, rising contracting wedge pattern to actually break lower, and that hasn't been the case. So, interesting scenario. We've broken above that. We've had a doji candle though, so bear that in mind. Uh, if you do push higher, then the next resistance is 12,310, then you've got 12,410, and then you've got gap fill at 12,400 or 12,500. So, take that into consideration too. Now, especially with the NASDAQ certainly weak as well, one would certainly expect the German DAX to come under pressure. 60 minute chart of the MDAX 50, you can clearly see that the German DAX certainly is uh, under pressure from that perspective. The French CAC showing immense strength as well today. Daily chart, as you can see here, touching that FIB 75% retracement now. Pretty impressive. If you take the pivot high, uh, draw it across, you are looking at potential 5450 and even gap fill up 5478. So watch out there. 60 minute chart, we are into horizontal resistance, so looking for a potential reversal here now. It's really, it certainly has been higher highs and higher lows in the French CAC, so quite impressive there. Again, looking for that unfilled gap to close below at 5393, certainly looking to target that at the moment on my current short trade, looking for a potential move lower. In terms of the FTSE 100, yes, very impressive, pushed higher again. Uh, even with the inflation number, inflation number spiking, uh, retail sales spiking, one would expect the, uh, the um, GBP to move higher, which it is, and it's, again, it's having no effect on the FTSE at present. It certainly seems that oil prices above 71 certainly is helping the FTSE more than uh, GBP moving higher. So that's certainly interesting. And also ongoing yo-yo uh, of uh, Brexit headlines as well, causing a, a stir, uh, and one would expect that as well. Now, I'm looking to potentially short the FTSE around this uh, zone here, 7358. This is your next potential key resistance zone, looking to potentially short the FTSE there. So uh, waiting for a small scalp here, scalp trade. Looking to put a stop loss above around that 7358, 7360 zone. Okay, so that's basically the status quo in terms of European markets. Nothing really other than the, like I said, UK retail sales. We did have uh, the CHF exports, imports numbers. Uh, trade balance certainly was negative. So nothing really of any major concern there. Again, like I said, the Italy concerns remain. Concerns uh, over the Irish border remain. Concerns regarding China certainly remain as well. Okay, uh, carnies, carnage, China tax cut, Kiwi growth stirs, but... Okay, so basically uh, a lot of headlines regarding Brexit, whether you're for and against it, uh, certainly trade accordingly on that note. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus and make sure you visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers and make sure you download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.